campaign was the Adidas F50 campaign featuring Lionel Messi, a uh, place for Argentina. It was basically to show him in an action scenario wearing the product. We would shoot it in stages, plates, you know, shoot it in the studio with the turf, white psych, have everything lit to where it looked like it was stadium lights. The difficulties were to show the product, get him in the exact pose, because his time is limited. Uh, we shot body doubles of him to get the action right, and then brought him in later to mimic the selects that we liked. The lighting was tough, and we knew we had to have a ton of lights. We knew we were gonna be able to take these images that were all being composited and putting them, put them into a lit stadium, kind of close to dusk. And, um, that's challenging. We knew we needed rim lights from the stadium. We built a tree of lights. So at the top, you know, the giant reflector, the 180 reflectors at the, at the top were up high to, to kind of give that big sense of, you know, powerful light. And then we had another one down below, which is the soft light reflectors to help, you know, fill in that. So we get really nice, you know, edging all around the players. You know, having the light kind of stronger at the top and a little bit softer at the bottom to mimic what real stadium lights would do. Rim light will bleed onto the rest of the scene, so we always have to flag those out appropriately. And right above him, a little off center, was the one by strip box, which we used to kind of give a little detail to the hair and shoulders, because detail is everything in this shot. There's a, you know, the Argentina Federation kit, you know, very particular about showing the stripes, showing the badge and all that, so that really helped make him not look so backlit and kind of helped wrap it and make the shoulders, his hair look really, really good. The white V-flat in front of him, those you know, soft light reflectors in the 180s, those actually will bounce off of that to give just enough fill in the face where it's not this harsh, you know, a grid or a beauty dish or anything. It's just soft enough to where our exposure allowed for the nice fill in the front of him to show up. It gets really technical in the front in the front, we have you know, a lot of soft light reflectors with grids set up for the players, their legs, the wrapping of, of you know, the socks and the shoes. And again, getting back to the shoe of Messi, you know, that was you know, a seven inch grid. The shoe being the focus, I want that light to be a little bit brighter than the next light. Where's, where's the eye going next? Well, in this case, it's Lionel Messi, best soccer player in the world. I wanted you to go to him next. The Magnum was definitely set above the camera to the right to actually hit the jersey where we wanted to show. You know, that Magnum with the grid definitely kind of helped us, you know, keep it off of his face too, too much, but also put it on the jersey so you see the logo. And again, dialing it back so it's not too bright. When you have all these detailed lights, you have a lot more control. You know, we have a big, broader source of light. It tends to look too flat. We wanted shape everywhere. The background plate for this particular image I shot in France in Marseille. It was a soccer match. Uh, I flew there specifically to shoot a match to, to grab background uh, stadium. So we were allowed on the pitch, shot an hour and a half of just different angles, different heights uh, that we could use for this particular campaign. And then you know we brought that to the studio, matched it up, and it looked really, really good. We were happy about that. And uh, and the rest was you know all post production the look, the fans we had in the post-production, and it helps to be a photographer and have that knowledge of post-production when you're shooting it, because I know what's possible and what's not possible, what you can eliminate right off the bat, and then what you can get away with.